What's up my people, I hope you're doing good and if you're new around here, my name is Wemba Imani. Now, I know you haven't seen me posted a video in a while, I've been busy in the lab putting some amazing content together, so look out for that. On today's episode, I'm releasing a video I did a while back when I visited Pangani Town, a coastal town here in Tanzania. So, enjoy today's episode and welcome to Inspire for Travel. Peace. <laughs> I am in Tanga City and I want to get a bus to Pangani. Now Pangani is a historic Swahili town here in Tanzania. It's around 45 kilometers away from Tanga City so what I have to do is get a bus and go there. This town Pangani definitely has a lot of history here in Tanzania. In fact there was a man by the name of Al-Bashir Ibn Salim Al-Hathir. Now he was the leader which went up against the German resistance here in the 19th century in Tanzania. And he in fact had a plantation, a small plantation in the Pangani area here in Tanzania. So I'm gonna get on a bus and really check it out. Let's see if we can find the place. It should be about an hour's ride on the bus or so. So let's go and explore Pangani. Okay, after a, a two hour journey from Tanga City to Pangani here, village side, just about 45 kilometers from Tanga, I've arrived here safely. Salama wa salimini. And um, yeah, let's explore the village. We we'll walk around, there's like a main bus station and um, a market nearby. I was told, so we're gonna walk around and see what it's like here in the village in Pangani. Twendeni, let's go and see what it's like. Okay, so off the bat, I must say to you, the village has really got a sleepy feel to it. Everything is at a slow pace, which is nice, nothing's wrong with that. And, um, very green you can see from like the view the mountain view there very green and um, I'm seeing some buildings which are built from wood wooden structures and um, reminds me a bit of the the Caribbean actually and um, yeah this is the Asalaamu Alaikum and um, yeah, it reminds me a bit of the Caribbean with the wooden structures and and all of that. Really unique. And uh, we will explore today and see what the vibes is like here in Pangani. Sometimes you gotta get out of your comfort zone and go to places and meet people, you know, interact with people and vibe now. This is an ancient Swahili town, Pangani, very ancient and um, long ago it was a terminus route for, of course, ivory and um, people that were kidnapped from the interiors of Africa were actually brought here at one time and then transported to other parts of the world some went to other nearby places like Pemba, Pemba Island, Zanzibar and there were a lot of farms here lots of farms Siso and Siso is actually for those who don't know it's a plant that's made from a fiber very thick fiber and you can make ropes, shoes, and different things like that from the sisal. So, yeah, all of that was grown here. So, pretty much that's it right now. I'm in the little bus terminal here um, in Pangani. So, 
exactly. Yeah, this is this is the fly. Got shops and all of that here. Might get some to eat. This is like a little makeshift shop. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, this is a shop. Assalamu alaikum. You know who's the uh, Chakula name? Yeah, you know the Chakula again? Ugali Samaki. Ugali Samaki ni shilingi inga. Elfu bili miya tano. Okay, mamba. Ugali. Opa dai. Assalamu alaikum. So this is the meal, Ugali, this is known as Ugali, Sukuma Wiki, Bima, this is Okros, Maharagwe, and Samaki. Real traditional food here in Africa, here in Pangani. So I'm going to dig in and then we'll explore more of this area. So I just had ugali, samaki, which is fish, beans, and I had um, bimia, which is okra in a certain sauce. So it's really nice in that shop just behind me there. So I'm just gonna walk around now and explore more of Pangani. So I'm taking you on a journey with me. Twende. So this is like the bus station where you will come when you like leave Tanga and you come here. This is like the bus station, the small bus station. See Andy, how see it? Badai, badai. Yeah, ni natembea tu sasa. So, yeah, so this is the bus station you will... This is the bus station you will probably come if you're leave, when you arrive here. And then like there's a little market here, you know, there's a market. There's a market, we're gonna, gonna walk around a bit, see what it's like here in the market. This is what the market is like, we're walking in. Assalamu alaikum. So we're walking in the market and you can find different things here. Assalamu alaikum. It's a small market in comparison to the to the other markets that are out there. And um how about it? small one all these local stuff can be bought here these are the local brooms that are made here in I think they're made here in Panga Pangani look like here yeah. I'm looking for a traditional hat but I can't it Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You know who's in here? Furushi. 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 Furushi.
Unajua? Yeah, ni raso. Yeah, yeah. Leo leo ni ninatembea tu sokoni. Yeah, ni ninatembea tu sokoni. Oh, pale, yeah? Yeah, pale, pale. Okay, sawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Tuta... Tuta... Pamoja. Asante sana. Yeah. So just speaking to a bit of the people here, they were just asking me, you know, when did I come? They were just telling me what they do here in the market. I'm trying to get a traditional hat. Salam alaikum. But I'm not. It seems like I wouldn't be able to get one here. So I'll have to go somewhere else. You know? These are like the pots and so on. A lot of these things coming from China, but these are like the traditional ones right here. You know? Salam alaikum. Okay, what's good, my people? I trust you have enjoyed today's vlog. We explored Pangani together. Now, I'll be releasing a course soon which goes into detail about how to travel around Tanzania on a budget. We'll be going into places you can stay, how to move around via different transport, in the city buses. All the information that you will ever need to really uh, travel affordably around Tanzania will be packed in this course. So if it's something you're interested about, I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video and in the comment section where you can sign up with your email and I'll forward to you all the details about the course and you'll get the information when it's released. Peace.